So starting in the commercial real estate industry as a young female is very difficult and you already have a lot going against you being young, being a female. Um, so that is something I'm, I'm very careful with, with um, the, the females on my team, is making sure that they have a voice, that they have a place, um, that they feel like they're being mentored and that they're helping give that confidence to them early in their career, that they can um, be powerful and be heard and be just as successful as their male counterparts. I always try to give young people, especially women, the encouragement that they can do it. That they have natural organizational skills, they have natural gifts, they have natural people skills. They have the tenacity and the perseverance and the focus to succeed. And sometimes it just takes an outsider to tell them that. And many times I'm on the receiving end of what they have to offer. In my career, I've been most successful in taking the experiences that I've had as a female engineer and teaching other women and even young boys about the successes that women can have in science, technology, engineering, and math. I've really made an effort to take the experiences that I've lived and help others grow and help people develop their confidence in their own abilities so that they can achieve their own personal success. The greatest accomplishment that I've had in that is understanding as a young female engineer that there were a lot of other women like me who worked in a male-dominated industry and weren't meeting women and weren't making friendships. So I established a lunchtime networking group where I brought in the women that I had met in various projects and we just sat down and started eating together. And with that, women have developed new mentoring opportunities. Um, they found peer mentors and really had an opportunity to grow both professionally and personally and develop relationships that will carry them forward.